Edward T. Hall, Beyond Culture. Embark on a journey to understand the intricacies of human culture in Beyond Culture by Edward T. Hall. This summary will delve into the impact of culture on our actions, thoughts, and communication styles. Discover the profound effect of cultural habits, rituals, and ingrained behaviors on everyday life, including greetings, settling disputes, and styles of walking. Furthermore, learn about the importance of language, both verbal and nonverbal, and how it can influence how we perceive the world around us. Remember the importance of understanding different cultural practices as our world becomes increasingly connected. The Unconscious Power of Culture Fundamental to human beings is their cultural nature, which shapes the way they act and think throughout their lives. From birth, people adopt the ideas, customs, and social norms of their communities, eventually turning learned actions into ingrained, unconscious habits. These culturally specific behaviors are exemplified in varying greetings from around the world, such as bows and nose rubs, which convey respect in different ways. Furthermore, the language spoken within groups can influence how they perceive the world, as illustrated by the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. In contrast to English, for example, the Hopi language of Arizona communicates not only information but its source, emphasizing the significance of cultural context. Human beings are inherently shaped by their culture, incorporating the ideas, customs, and social values of their communities into their daily actions and thought processes. Through interactions with others, people adapt their actions to fit the cultural environment they inhabit. Over time, these learned actions become ingrained and develop into habitual behaviors that feel automatic and second nature. By adulthood, our cultural background has manifested itself in the form of internalized, unconscious behaviors, unique to the upbringing we experienced. This is clearly demonstrated in the various ways people greet one another across cultures. For instance, the Japanese show respect through bowing, whereas the Inuits display it by rubbing noses. Both greetings exhibit appreciation, but their effectiveness relies on their cultural context. In addition to behavior, culture also influences our language and thought processes. The Sapir-Whorf hypothesis, proposed by anthropologist Edward Sapir and linguist Benjamin Whorf in 1929, suggests that an individual's worldview is greatly affected by the language they speak. For example, an English speaker can state, it rained yesterday, without specifying how they know about the rain. In contrast, the Hopi language of Arizona incorporates the source of information into its verbs, conveying both the message and its origin to listeners. This illustrates the powerful impact that cultural context has on both our actions and our perception of the world. Cultural Patterns in Daily Life Everyday encounters, such as small talk, are examples of cultural patterns, also known as rituals, that we perform on a daily basis. These rituals can range from simple conversations to courtship practices, and even to how we handle disputes. Different cultures have specific ways in which people participate in these patterns. For instance, individuals from England or America often try to resolve conflicts through subtle verbal cues or third-party intermediaries before confronting the issue directly, resorting to legal action as a last option. On the contrary, people from Latin America or Mediterranean cultures generally avoid confrontations, especially with close acquaintances, to prevent triggering a cycle of revenge. Understanding these cultural patterns is crucial to effectively communicate and navigate within society. Decoding Cultural Communication Planning events with people from diverse cultural backgrounds can be challenging due to differences in communication styles. Explicit communication, common in Germany, Switzerland, Scandinavia, and the United States, relies on clear, detailed language to convey messages. While this method ensures clarity, it can slow down the communication process. In contrast, implicit communication, prevalent in Asian cultures, relies on context and body language to convey information. This approach promotes speedier communication, but is less flexible in adapting to change. The stability or rapid change within a culture often influences its preferred communication style. 
navigating communication with people from various cultures can be a delicate task, as each culture has its distinct way of expressing themselves. Explicit communication, predominantly found in Germany, Switzerland, Scandinavia, and to some extent, the United States, is characterized by clearly defined verbal information. While this approach eliminates ambiguity, it can make communication seem cumbersome due to the need for thorough and comprehensive messages. On the other hand, implicit communication is more common among Asian cultures, where body language and contextual cues form the backbone of conversation. This style doesn't require an extensive focus on spoken words, enabling faster communication. However, such implicit signals, deeply rooted in the historical and traditional contexts of the culture, evolve slowly, making it hard to adapt to new meanings. The communication style used within a culture is often influenced by its stability or rate of change. Cultures immersed in long-standing traditions may lean toward implicit communication, developing efficient signals that expedite dialogues. Conversely, rapidly changing societies rely on explicit communication due to its ability to convey new information more flexibly. In conclusion, understanding and adapting to different communication styles is crucial when interacting with people from diverse cultural backgrounds. Being mindful of these differences can lead to better understanding, collaboration, and successful event planning. Cultural Nuances in Communication Communication styles vary not only in language, but also through cultural elements that influence how we move, sit, and perceive time. The distinction in walking patterns between white Americans and Pueblo Indians exemplifies this. Additionally, contrasting perceptions of time between Northern Europe and America versus the Middle East and Latin America evoke different prioritization of tasks and acceptance of tardiness. Understanding these cultural intricacies can help navigate and adapt to diverse environments. Dive deeper into the fascinating realm of cultural differences and you'll realize that the way people move is inherently tied to their cultural background. From sitting and standing to dancing and walking, each culture has its unique way of expressing itself through movement. A student's research capturing the walking patterns of white Americans and Pueblo Indians in New Mexico and Arizona discovered 15 distinctive variations between the two cultures. But it's not just our movements that are influenced by culture, our thought processes are shaped by it as well. Delving back into the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis, we find that cultural practices sway the way we think and perceive time. In Northern Europe and America, individuals generally visualize time as a linear path, propelling unidirectionally into the future. As a result, planning and setting strict deadlines for tasks become crucial practices in these regions. In contrast, cultures from the Middle East and Latin America often focus on the present moment. Time is considered flexible, and tasks are prioritized based on their immediate importance rather than sticking to rigid deadlines. Consequently, tardiness is viewed more leniently in Latin America as compared to the United States, where changing plans at the last minute is considered impolite. By recognizing these cultural nuances in communication, movement, and perception of time, we can better adapt to an increasingly diverse world and foster mutual understanding and respect. Decoding Cultural Differences The way we perceive the world around us is influenced by our cultural upbringing, which can lead to misunderstandings and confusion between people of different backgrounds. For example, Japanese hotel staff may relocate a guest's luggage to a new room without asking permission, a practice considered normal and welcoming in Japan. However, Western guests, who associate space with personal ownership, often find this invasive and disrespectful. Similarly, education styles vary greatly across cultures. Western educational systems focus on preparing students for competitive job markets, emphasizing exams and achievements. In contrast, Pueblo Indian education relies on peer learning and role models, valuing informal knowledge absorption and play over structured study. While Pueblo Indians find the Western approach harmful to children and society, the cultural lens through which we view these differences significantly impacts our judgments and reactions, highlighting the importance of understanding and embracing diverse perspectives in our increasingly interconnected world. Embracing Cultural Differences 
In our increasingly interconnected world, it's vital to understand how culture influences people's behavior. This can be challenging, as it requires comprehension of a culture's unique historical and social context. Realizing that our cultural lens is not the only perspective and examining our own beliefs can help us better understand foreign cultures. The most effective way to explore new cultures is to engage with people from different backgrounds, enabling us to appreciate diverse points of view and enrich our experiences. As global connectivity surges, the chances of encountering someone from a different cultural background rise significantly. Despite this, comprehending the impact of culture on individuals requires delving into each culture's specific historical and social contexts. Taking Japan as an example, the expected degree of politeness varies based on one's relationship with another person, tracing back to their feudal history where social standing played a significant role. The remnants of this system continue to affect modern-day Japan, emphasizing the importance of understanding the roots of cultural practices. Moreover, acknowledging that our cultural lens is not the absolute truth is crucial in this learning process. We must look beyond our own ingrained beliefs and question them, even if they seem obvious to us. For instance, Western cultures often prioritize competition and individuality, creating a stark contrast with cultures that prefer adhering to societal norms. The most effective way to explore diverse cultures is to interact with people of different cultural backgrounds. This not only allows us to witness alternative viewpoints but also helps us identify new perspectives on beliefs and behaviors that we might have taken for granted. Ultimately, engaging with people from other cultures can be an eye-opening and enriching experience that broadens our understanding of the world around us. Having explored the complex realm of culture and beyond culture, it is evident that our actions, rituals, communication, and even our perception of time are deeply rooted in our cultural upbringing. As the world continues to intertwine and blur cultural boundaries, striving for understanding and empathy becomes imperative. Recognizing that our perspective is not the only way, but merely one among many other valid viewpoints, is vital for successful interactions. Let us challenge ourselves to broaden our cultural lens and engage with those whose cultural backgrounds differ from ours to foster enriching and fulfilling experiences.